So welcome back everybody. Today we have got a really nice cedar log on the mill, another cedar log this week. And I'm particularly excited about this one because this is a very large log as far as cedar trees go. It's 18 and 19 inches at the butt end and it's 16 to 20 inches at the top end. It's oblong, one measurement 16 and the other measurement is 20. Um, judging by the chainsaw cut that I made, I think there's still a lot of good wood in here, a lot of good red heart wood, but of course I don't really know exactly what the heart looks like. The dead center of the pith looks through all the, looks like all the way through it. Um, so we'll just see. We'll get the mill going and we'll check it out. Howard is actually the one that found this log for me. It's, it was in his churchyard. He said they cut it down two or three years ago or something like that and it's been laying on the ground ever since. Thankfully cedar is pretty rot resistant stuff so it seems like it's still a pretty good log. Um, in case y'all are wondering, it took me about 12 or 13 minutes to get the mill set up um, from right by myself. It actually took me a lot longer to get this log positioned properly up on the mill uh, than it took me to set up the sawmill. So I thought that was pretty good. The LT15, this is not an advertisement for Wood Miser, but I know a lot of people watch these videos who are interested in uh, purchasing a sawmill and uh, about 12 minutes is all it took me to get this thing set up by myself. Um, it was very, very fast. Of course, I used that drill to do my uh, my jack stands, and that speeds up the process quite a bit. But anyhow, enough talking. Let's get the saw in and see what's inside of this log. So guys, this is what I, exactly what I was afraid was going to happen. I told y'all this was a yard tree. It's been in a churchyard for obviously a, a very, very long time. Uh, and we did hit a nail and I, I heard, I thought that I heard some more nail strikes, but I just, I don't see them. But anyhow, um, so yeah, if you can see the difference in the saw marks back here and the saw marks right here, you can see it really did a number on that blade. But here's what we're going to do. Uh, instead of changing the blade, uh, and actually instead of digging this nail out, which takes a good bit of time, I've only got, I don't have a whole lot of time today to do this, and I've only got a couple of uh, logs that I need to saw. So instead of going to all that trouble, I'm just going to keep going. If I hit another nail with that blade, it doesn't matter because the blade's already, already wrecked. So we're just going to keep going. Uh, the finish doesn't matter as much on 
on these boards simply because it's going to be on the back of my shed and you know we're not making furniture with it we're just we're just walling up a shed so let's just keep going and see how it cuts and if it gets to cutting really terrible then we'll then we'll change the blade out i just don't want to run the risk of wrecking another blade um another good sharp blade when i'm i'm sure there are more nails in this log Guys, I decided to um, I decided to go ahead and change this blade. It was cutting so so poorly. The whole head of this machine was shaking, and uh, you know I'm not, not as concerned about the way the boards look because it's walling for a shed. But it was just cutting really slow. But we did get up under that nail. I think we got that whole nail out with that with that other blade. So um, it should be good. Unless there's another one in it, which is very likely.
look at that. So you can see we got a little bit of a few little rotten spots on the inside, but that is not going to affect anything. I, I'm going to still use this board for the back of the shed, even though it's got a few little rotten spots in it like that, because that's fine. I mean, that's not going to it's not going to spread. So you know, I'm going to use it. And I appreciate it.
So guys, that's all I've got for this video. I'm gonna call this a very, very successful day. Uh, I did kind of a rough count. This is not an exact count, but there are 12 boards here that are 15 and a half inches wide, and there are 10 boards which are 10 inches wide. Now that's give or take. I didn't do an exact count because I'm really running out of time here. Um, but just these boards right here will be able to span about 23 feet on the back of the sawmill shed. So that is gonna be really close as far as completing the back of the sawmill shed between these boards and the boards that we cut uh, from the cedar tree, the windfall cedar tree on the last video that we, we cut that cedar tree on. Um, but this was a really big deal. These, this log was from Howard's church. I'm probably going to give a small donation to the church as a token of my appreciation because this helped me out immensely. There's not a lot of cedar trees in my area. I mean, there are a lot of cedar trees, but they're not very big. Um, a lot of them are in the woods, and the ones that are in the woods that don't get full sunlight, they can be 20 years old and still this big and just look terrible because they just don't, you know, they have to have full sun. They have to have really good full sun, and if they don't get that, that they just don't grow well. So this was a pretty rare tree. It's very rare to see a cedar tree this large, uh, especially at least in my area. It may be different in other places. So um, I'm very appreciative of, of uh, what Howard turned me on to here. The gentleman that showed up in the middle of the video, uh, he's a gentleman that lives real close to here. He goes to the church right here that we got the log from and he wanted those off cuts for firewood so i very graciously gave them to him and it saved me from having to clean up the mess and also he had off bared for me for that last log so it was very very nice and he was a really nice guy um, there was only one nail in this log that i found uh, that was really good i only wrecked one blade in this process so that was that was good so this was a good afternoon's work um, i'm very very pleased with this very very pleased i'm excited to see what this is going to look like on the back of my sawmill shed and I'm glad I was able to take y'all along for the trip. So I will see y'all next time. Thank y'all for watching.